Hello my friends, my name is Tim Johnson. Finding sobriety, particularly long-term sobriety, maintaining it, being at peace and being content with the person you are, ultimately finding um, that elusive thing that I think everybody's searching for, happiness, whatever that means for you. These things are all certainly holy grail. And I think if you ask most people whether they've been in addiction or not, they would want to find that peace, contentment. And I think most people are searching for it. And, you know, as you know, trying to find it outside of themselves most of the time, which will never happen. You know, there's a motto on the top of this channel that says, Joy is not in things, it is in us. And that's a very true statement. But like everything else, trying to find these things, trying to find sobriety and, and, and keep it going long term. Um, there's so much choice about. You look everywhere, you know, there's channels like this on the internet, YouTube, all over the place, gurus offering advice on staying sober, getting sober, offering courses and mindset courses and being the best you and this, that and the other and achieving mindfulness, happiness. You know, the choice is endless out there. And then, of course, you've got all the other things that are on offer for maintaining sobriety, which I have ultimate respect for, AA, CA, NA, smart recovery. There's so much choice out there. But ultimately, it's down to what suits you. And when I make these videos on this channel, and I've been making them for four years now, all I do on these videos is tell you what works for me. You know, and, and there's things that I've, I've picked off other people that work for me, and I've took them on board, and they've helped me. And that's what I try and do in these videos. I try, all I do is I share my experience and, um, and hopefully there's not a massive amount of views on this channel. You know, you look at it and you think, um, you know, I've been making them for a long time. But as far as I'm concerned, all that matters to me is that they reach the people that they need to reach and that they help those people. If you want to subscribe, share, like, uh, do that because it just helps more people see them, you know, and ultimately that's what it's all about. But it's about sharing my experience and, and that's what I do every single time. So what works for me? Little things. And please, when I make statements during this, I'm not suggesting that... Um, you follow everything I say on here because I don't know all the answers. No one knows all the answers because we're all individual human beings, aren't, aren't we? And different things motivate us. We all have different circumstances. Some people watching this video now will be in horrendous situations that I couldn't even imagine. And my heart goes out to you. But what I, what I talk about or try to talk about is what generally I think will work um, for most people. But it doesn't mean because I say something that I'm saying it, um, you know, it'll definitely work for you because you pick bits out of these videos and, uh, you know, and there's, and there's stuff on all sorts on the channel, with draw on all sorts. But this is about uh, maintaining sobriety because if I'm contacted about anything more than anything else, it's about how do I you know, main not want to drink? How do I not want to use drugs? How do I get that feeling of peace and contentment? How do I start liking myself? How to get rid of all those feelings of um, self-pity and anger and resentment and all, the all those negative emotions? There's no magic answer, though. This is the thing. You know, and I've said in constant videos before this, it takes daily... And sometimes by the minute, hard work on yourself. But I want to share with you some things that I think are really important when it comes to um, sobriety and also 
ultimately that lead on to a feeling of peace and contentment and happiness, whatever happiness means. You know, I think now that um, I'm at a point in my life at 61 years old that I've, I've never felt as peaceful and as happy and as content as I do now. I'm not saying my life's perfect because it absolutely isn't. You know, oh, yes, I do um, have advantages that a lot of people don't. It, all, you know, in other words, I live in a, a beautiful place, part of the world. But the same problems are still in my head that have led to my addictions over 30, 40 years, you know, that I have to deal with every day, just as they will be with you. So I have to watch how I think and how I behave and what I do. And you have to find the right path for you as well. And I think one of the things for me, you know, with, with a, um, a fa that has always sent me backwards is a feeling of um, self-pity, if you like, um, regret, uh, you know, self-hatred, um, all these things for whatever reasons they're there. And I've talked about pain being behind most addictions for whatever reasons are there, these negative things, they're absolutely useless emotions. You know, they're never going to serve you. And you have to learn to deal with it. And I give, I have to give myself uh, a stern talking to when I start to feel self-pity. You know, and I, I, and I look uh, and I have to say, right, I, I love the film Zombieland and I like uh, Woody Harrelson. And he has a saying in that, and he says, time to nut up or shut up. And I'm banging that into my head when I start to feel self-pity. And I automatically start uh, a gratitude reel in my head and think about everything I'm grateful for and lucky to have, you know, starting with the fact that I'm alive and breathing and um, many people don't get that luxury, you know, when they wake up in the morning, you know, you, you, the first, sorry, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I feel or try to feel is gratitude. It's difficult and shit happens in your life and um, there's awful things happening in your life, everybody's lives. Nothing's ever smooth, is it? Because uh, that's life. And guess what? Life goes on. It always goes on. And... The trick is to, and it's very difficult sometimes, try to, trying to make the best of it, you know, and a lot of um, scientists out there have studied about happiness. And there's a new study just come out and I was reading it the other day, you know, and, and it's quite interesting. And the reason that these scientists give that most of us, or, you know, a lot of us don't experience what happiness is, whatever that means, is because we set our expectations too high. And when we don't achieve those expectations, then we become discontent. And that can lead on to all sorts of feelings uh, of negativity. And you'll never find, you'll start to look outside of yourself to try and find that, uh, that peace and happiness, whether it's in material things, whether it's in sex, whether it's in drugs, alcohol, whether it, whatever it's in, um, outside of yourself, you'll never find it. And you set your expectations too high. And I used to do that. And I used to try and achieve perfection. Never happens. So the first thing, you know, I would say is in maintaining sobriety and finding this peace and contentment is to let go of any control that you think you have of anything because you haven't got any, basically. You know, um, the only things you can control are your thoughts and your actions. And I've said that before. Outside of yourself, there's nothing really you can control. There's so much shit going on in the world at the moment out there that it's best. You just let, you've just got to let it go on and, and take its course and go with the flow. You know, I'm a great follower of, um, of uh, Wu Wei, which is um, Taoist philosophy. And that's just non-action, going with the flow. Because there's nothing, if you start to try and influence and, and control, then you're stuffed. Forget it. And you won't find anything, out, any peace and happiness outside of yourself. And self-pity and self-hatred and self-regret. I mean, it's really difficult. 
if you spent most of your life hating yourself, hating the way you look, hating the way you are because expectations have been set so high for you, you've got to let go of all that and somehow find um, a peace with yourself because you'll never maintain sobriety without that peace. And um, self-pity doesn't serve anyone anyway. The old sayings, isn't it? You know, poor me, poor me, pour me another drink. And another one that I really like, you know, um, I always used to drown my sor sorrows and then the bastards learned how to swim. Doesn't solve anything, the drink and the drugs and all the rest of it. But sometimes it is the easy way out and I understand that. You know, if you're going through horrendous times and feelings. But you've got to, as I said before, nut up and shut up sometimes. You've just, you've just got to realise that um, nothing in life comes to you. You know, and I spent years thinking it did and waiting for it and trying to control situations and, and whatever and searching for stuff outside of myself. And it just led to destruction, unhappiness, addiction, self-hatred, lack of self-worth, self-pity. And that led me in a great big circle, drink, drugs, all the rest of it. Again, again, out, in, out, in, out. And until you let go of control, until you realise you won't find anything outside of yourself and start working every day and realising it's only your thoughts or your actions you can control, you'll never find long-term peace, happiness, contentment, sobriety, you know, if that's what you're after. I hope that's been helpful. And as I say, you know, um, you know the, the, you'll just have to pick bits out of that that suit you. I'm just trying to think of a mindset that suits me and maintains my sobriety and my peace and contentment and happiness. Whatever happens outside of me, you know, I can't, it won't, if I maintain that mindset um, that I've just talked about in this video, then um, I can carry on and even kill whatever happens outside of me whatever bad things, and mostly the good things that happen, fortunately, you know, and um, and that's life, isn't it? And life goes on. So thank you for listening. I hope that's been of some use for you. Please subscribe, like, and share the videos. As I always say at the end of my videos, carpe diem. Seize the day today. Much love to you all. Take care. And I'll be off for two weeks now, um, taking a bit of a break. Thank you. Bye-bye.